Welcome, Matt is back again. This time I'm out with a family of six person with young kids and I'm just on the border to Sarek National Park. It's just behind me here. I'm a little bit tired, it's the first day, but let's roll the intro. We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. Welcome Matis back again. This time I'm very very tired today. Uh, I'm just outside Sarek National Park with a family with, with uh, four young kids. We flew out here today with a helicopter. There is a reason why I'm tired and that's because when you're working as a guide like, like I do the night before a tour like this, especially when it's a family, you don't and young kids, you don't know if that family know what they have booked. I don't know if they are uh, good people outdoor, if they know how to stay dry. You don't know if the kids are totally wild or whatever. So the tension for me have been uh, very very high so I have been sleeping bad uh, packing everything reading the packing list over and over again I don't want to forget stuff back at home I really want to have everything with me this family is actually great and uh, the kids are also super great they are used with outdoor life so uh, I think this will be a very, very good week and I have, I don't think I've forgot anything back home. I have all food, everything I need with me. Now I'm sitting here in the tent and it's uh, raining quite a lot. I have started cooking the dinner and uh, the family is in the tent, their tents and made that make them ready for the night. We have four tents here and we are seven person. So this is the restaurant tent where we're going to eat and cook if it's bad weather. If it's good weather we we'll sit outside of course. And the menu today is uh, fried onion, fried mushroom and fried elk meat and together with that we will have mashed potatoes that's nice have been quite heavy raining the whole day but now it seems like it's clearing up I can actually see a small piece of blue sky over there so that will be nice we don't need more rain now we have had dinner already and I'm going back to the tent the family went to bed for sleeping and I will make a cup of tea and go into my nice sleeping bag and sleep Today it's still raining and we had a breakfast in here in the tent and today we're aiming for the forest we will try to go down to the forest 
where we will try to make a fire in this super wet condition but I think it's the best we can do today go down to the forest birch forest wet birch forest and there we will try to make fire and I have some sausage with me so we can maybe have sausage and coffee with a cozy fire if it will be a fire Good water? Good. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're actually doing the really last stretch down to the tent camp. We had a nice day walking all the way down to the birch forest where we could make a fire. We find some dry wood that started and then we made a loop so we have maybe done eight ten kilometer ten kilometer maybe today when we're back at the tent beautiful day but rainy new day and it's not raining but Tina just sent a text message to me and told me that it will rain later today again 
but after that we get good weather that's good and the rain is not good but it's good it's changing now and getting better it's seven o'clock in the morning and no it's very silent out there really silent but let's make some tea and coffee and wake them up Wow, I'm just on my way down to get water and then it was a falcon sitting here on the ground and just took off. I can see it still flying over the ridge there, but it was sitting 15 meters away from the tent. It's still flying over the horizon. So, it's a new day, this morning we had some rain, in the beginning it was not raining but after a while in the morning we get some rain but now it stopped raining and it looks like it's clearing up for a while so we quickly packed our backpacks and start walking. We will follow the small creek upstream today. Like the, soup. Oh. the mosquito dive into the soup. Yeah. <laughs>
Dan komt hij stroomt hij zo en in een buitenbocht is de, de, de snelheid is, is sneller in de buitenbocht van de rivier. Het water wordt gelijk of dat je met een touw springt, wordt water naar buiten gezwierd hè? en maakt hij de rivier dieper. En langs de binnenkant zet hij sedimenten af en krijg je, krijg je, uh, alleen, krijg je aanvullingen. Worden er steentjes die vanuit de gletsjer meezwieren met water worden afgedaan. Waardoor het de rivier zo begint te doen. En dan af en toe in de buitenbocht van vroeger. Oh. Okay, Matt is cooking here. Um, I just went away and um, <laughs> everything is totally under control. Yeah. Good morning. A new day. Blue sky. And a lot of mosquitoes. We had... This morning was super hot in the tent with the sun. Now it's blue sky and nice wind and there is some mosquitoes. Today we are going straight over a very dry plateau and then we reach Kungsleden. And then we have lunch and we will look into the uh, Europa Valley, to the gate of Sarek. Yesterday we were on 
Scherfe and could look down to the delta. We see. Everyone is doing fine. And oh. Very, very beautiful small from a female reindeer. Bye bye. Now we go. We had our lunch down in the, almost in the forest, birch forest, and it was so much mosquitoes. Are you mosquito safe? Wow. Are they biting you? Bug spray and mosquito protection? <laughs> and you too? Yeah. Mosquito protection, they're really terrible. <laughs> yeah, they are terrible. Four kids. So now we're going up to the top of the mountain again to big snowfield to get some wind and some colder to avoid the mosquito. It was not so fun down there. Is it nice here, Mia, without mosquitoes? <laughs> bye bye Clara. <sighs> you take snow too? You're on the top of the world! Yummy! Mount Everest! Is that a good restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> it's a super beautiful evening. But it's a kind of lot of mosquitoes, so the family I'm out with, most of them went into the tent for sleeping after. <laughs> 
after dinner. Now I'm walking down to the river here and I will see if it's possible for us to cross a small creek tomorrow with the children. So I'm just out on a recognized tour. Then I will also go into my tent and untrim my sleeping bag and This has been eaten quite recent. Or yeah. happy. Yes. So beautiful. Now we just uh, arrived back to the tent. We had a very nice hike into Sarek from our tent and 100 meters, 50 meters before the camp it started raining. Yeah, you can hear it. I'm lucky I'm inside.
So this is the end of this video and it's the end of this tour. I've been here six days with the, with the Belgian family, the Bok, and we had made day tours and we had a fantastic time. In the beginning of this video I was a little bit tired because of the packing and because of everything should... Um, I don't want to forget things at home and I don't know what family I have with me out they used with outdoor it could be difficult week if, if you have people that don't can take care of themselves but this family I want to say thank you to you you made a super good job out here and your children they are fantastic they are really good uh, walkers in the nature and uh, yeah tough kids tough parents I hope I see you again I also, I also want to say thank you to all um, followers and the people who give all nice comments here on YouTube. It's really amazing. Just give us more energy to continue with these videos on the channel. I also want to say welcome to our second Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, there is a link somewhere down here. It's a way of supporting channels like this, artists, whatever. But you find a link down here somewhere. And now I want to say welcome to Andrea, one of our our second Patreon. Andrea and her husband Alexander, they are uh, also helping us a lot with our website. So thank you for that work too. Andrea have her own YouTube channel. I put a link somewhere down here below to Andrea's channel, so you can take a look at her videos she is a very good uh, photographer and filmmaker so that's all for me now I'm going back to the camp and we're going to pack up the tents and then we just have a coffee and wait for the helicopter <laughs> <laughs>